He was born and raised in Brooklyn and best known for being part of Tony Soprano's iconic crew. Tonight, cast members and fans of The Sopranos are remembering Tony Sirico. He built a reputation in Hollywood and New York playing gangsters on screen that you couldn't help but love. You know, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little intimidated. As well you should, my friend. A man who teaches skiing for a living or to look after his physical condition. Tony Sirico played Polly Walnuts, one of the wise guys in the mega hit The Sopranos. His character was tough talking, but sometimes hapless, including in the memorable episode when he gets lost in the Pine Barrens with Christopher, played by Michael Imperioli. The characters nearly freeze to death. Sirico was born in 1942 and grew up in East Flatbush and Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. The actor found steady work in TV and film, including a small part in the 1990 film Goodfellas, and his voice was heard in several episodes of The Family Guy. Hey you, green pants, I hear you're looking for a dog or something. But his fans will remember him most as Polly Walnuts. CBS2 spoke to Sirico in 2006 about being part of the Sopranos family. The camaraderie on the shows, that's why you like watching, the chemistry jumps right out of you. Come on cowgirl, let's go down to the chuck wagon and see what they're rustling up. Tonight, Sirico's co-stars from the hit HBO series are remembering their time together. Michael Imperioli paid tribute, saying, We found a groove as Christopher and Polly, and I am proud to say I did a lot of my best and most fun work with my dear pal Tony. I will miss him forever. Lorraine Bracco recalls working with Sirico. I have a lifetime of memories with Tony, starting with Goodfellas to The Sopranos and way beyond. Steve Sharippa wrote, Tony, thank you for all the laughs, my friend. Rest in peace. Cool. And this from Stevie Van Zandt, a larger-than-life character on and off screen. Gonna miss you a lot, my friend. Tony Sirico's family did not release a cause of death. He died in Fort Lauderdale and is survived by his two children and his grandchildren.